Once again, John Burko has embarrassed himself on live TV. This time, Sky News interviewed him after yesterday's report that confirmed that John Burko is a bit dodgy. He's got temper issues, he harasses people, he hates democracy, he tried to stop Brexit, he's a bit of a socialist these days, a Ramona. The report didn't say that, but it was simply about his misconduct as a Speaker of the House of Commons, as a boss in Parliament, and they interviewed him to ask, Sarah Jane Mead from Sky News asked whether he's now reflecting on his behaviour and whether he essentially regrets that time. Given the report's findings today that you're a serial liar and a serial bully, are you reflecting differently on the actions that you took while in the House of Commons? Thank you, Sarah Jane. No, I'm not reflecting differently on them at all. I regard it as a kangaroo court. The process has been protracted, Kafkaesque, and completely unjust. Yeah, kangaroo court. OK, imagine, imagine if a Brexiteer has said this back at the time during the, the Brexit negotiations when the Supreme Court judges, uh, Gina Miller and these guys, went against the will of the people. Imagine the outrage. Ramona's like John Burke would have shown, saying, how dare you say kangaroo court. Suddenly, it applies to them. It's fine for them to say it. <laughs> also, the, this interview went much worse. He embarrassed himself. He didn't really show humility to, to say, he doesn't have to completely apologize. I understand he's got a massive ego. Bigger than his size, of course, because he's tiny. But, you know, I can say because I'm also tiny. Don't worry, it's not sizes. But <laughs> in reality, it, it, all he had to do was to not completely double down because he says that well we don't have proper witnesses you do realize when we talk about your misconduct in the house of commons as a speaker of the commons it wasn't just behind the scenes with the staff of the house and the palace of westminster we could see it on tv during the debates in the chamber in parliament we could literally see it on live tv when you were doing the same thing two members of parliament, two government ministers, to the prime ministers, and it, it was completely visible and public. So stop doing that, stop lying. Also, he, he completely lost his temper again, and he decided to go passive-aggressive. Sarah Jane Mead called it out. No, well, you're just reading from the report, which, of course, Sarah Jane, you're I'm absolutely entitled to, to do. But what I'm saying to you... Yes, and if you'd be kind enough to allow me to reply, I will. Thank you. The answer is okay, that I, I don't like accept any of that. I passive aggressive territory I here, which I don't want to, so please continue. No, we're not getting into any... No, we're not getting into any passive aggressive territory as far as I'm concerned. It's in these moments when the, the PR team behind them, in the gallery, behind the camera, are going to the producers, stop the interview. <laughs> Just cut it. You can't really trust him anymore. It's so embarrassing. It's so sad that this guy was representing the House of Commons globally internationally prime minister's questions for example is quite popular and his face always stands out because he was sitting right in the middle and a lot of people were seeing it as a quite fascinating tradition that we have in the uk but thank god that is gone and thank god that we now have lindsay hoyle he's not perfect but he's not john burko thanks again for watching thanks for all the support throughout the evening subscribe to the channel click on the bell next to it i'm my tc and we are the media